What do you think's going on in Al Riveron's world right now? Well, it's not a good world to be in. I'm telling you, he's getting heat from everywhere, including from upstairs in the league office. Um, it's uh, you take two games, championship games that ended in overtime. Um, you know, should have been a grand day for the league, regardless of the fact that maybe some people don't like, you know, the overtime play with only one team getting the ball, as was, as was the case with the Patriots. But the talk is all about officiating, and that's not what the league wants. And the talk has been all about really officiating for the last two years, and, and replay has been a huge part of that. And, um, you know, we got an interesting player here in the mix, and that's Sean Payton, who is on the competition committee and is going to go into those meetings starting in February at the Combine with his guns loaded. And um, he's a tough guy, and he's going to want to walk out of that meeting in February and then the follow-up meeting in March with something that will address what happened, um, you know, at the end of their game. So I think we're on the verge of maybe taking a leap forward. I hope we're on the verge of taking a leap forward and finding a way to correct mistakes like yesterday in 20 seconds. And if you can do that um, and, and really kind of, really kind of take a bold step in looking how to do that by taking an eighth official and putting him as a member of a crew in a booth with replay equipment with just he and a, um, a technology person with him and allow him to just get on the horn to he has communication to Bill Vinovich and to immediately say after the first replay, Bill, that was pass. I'm your crew member. I call him the sky judge. You know, Bill Vinovich, that was pass interference at the six-yard line. It was also hitting the defenseless receiver, by the way, which both get enforced, take the ball, put it at the three, first down, play on, go. I think we're going to have to look at doing something like that to eliminate these types of misses. Well, you know, as Mike, as you know, I have opinions. and yes, I, no, I, really? I not only I not only have opinions, I've got suggestions. Um, because I'm not just going to rail on something without offering uh, a solution. I like that idea for the final two minutes, uh, but you can't have some unnamed, unknown official sitting up in a booth somewhere calling down uh, when a flag hasn't been thrown. If you've got fans in the stands looking for a flag and they're going crazy, um, and then all of a sudden something buzzes down, you, you might think that somebody uh, is is – is reacting under pressure based on what a crowd did or not. You've got to have outside of it a, a, an ability to challenge it. You've got to have it. It's got to be a coach's challenge initiated uh, unless it's in the last two minutes. But everything should be reviewable and anything should be reviewable. Mike. Well, I don't think I agree with you. I don't think it has to be a challenge. And I'm not talking about a hidden guy. I mean, I'm talking about an eighth member of the crew. No, I know, but you don't see. And, I think, and I, I think, listen, you've got you've got crowd reaction inside of two minutes, too. Or you're, are you influencing the replay official upstairs to stop the game to take another look? I mean, I, I, I don't know if that's a relevant argument in my mind. All, all I want to do is to figure out how to correct – Obvious mistakes, obvious mistakes, and do it without stopping the game for three minutes. And um, and and listen, technology's not going to get worse, and officiating's not going to get better. I mean, it's so damn tough as it is right now. So you got to look at the technology that is available and the speed that you can get it, and see if you can do something. If it was me, I would go to the committee and I would say, "Look, at, let's not make hasty decisions here. You know, let's let's use the 64 preseason games that we have prior to the 2019 season, and let's experiment with this. Let's put an eighth official in this booth. Let's let him officiate the game as the eighth member of." the crew and just like the crew gets together when there's a block in the back call and somebody has a different angle he just he's just another member here and let's see if we can correct the correct the obvious mistakes and if it works in 64 games then let's say in 2019 we put it in the playoffs um, to ensure that it doesn't happen and then if it works maybe then adopt it in 2020 going forward for all games i just think we've got to look forward and really kind of change how we have approached officiating and technology 
to make it better. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.